my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I do want to give you guys a quick update and let you guys know that from here on out, I will be uploading every Tuesday and every Friday. So you guys don't have to be guessing or waiting on the notifications. Just know that from here on out, every Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to be uploading new videos. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe so you get the newest updates um, or the newest uh, videos coming up, okay? So let's get right into your reading, Pisces. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of June 2018. Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Pisces. Okay, so I'm hearing slow down. For a lot of you guys, you guys may be feeling uh, that in the past two weeks or up until now, you guys are feeling like you guys are living this lifestyle very, very fast paced, not having enough time, not being able to fully take a deep breath or concentrate. Now, you do have here as the general energy, you have the eight of swords. So the eight of swords definitely talks about feeling stuck in regards to a situation. We're going to see what that situation is by pulling out other cards. Give me one second and let me tune into this card. Okay, Pisces, a lot of you guys are feeling mentally enslaved. So what I mean by that is for a lot of you guys, you guys are having anxiety or having a lot of difficulty making choices. I feel that for the month of June, there's going to be a lot of opportunities coming your way, not just in the financial financial sector, but also in, in regards to relationships. And it's almost like you're going to be having new opportunities or new beginnings, but you're resisting that change. It could be having to do with the fact that you're actually waiting on a person or you're wanting to see if the person that you've been dealing with is actually going to step up and um, pretty much give you what it is that you're asking for, whether it's commitment or whether it's marriage or whether whatever it is. Um, if you've been like kind of casually dating someone, it could be that you're just waiting for them to want to make it official. Uh, nonetheless, with the eight of swords, I feel that this is more of a mental type of energy. So you're not really stuck. It's just that you're choosing to remain in that situation. Now, your next card here is the Seven of Wands. So, yeah, definitely the Seven of Wands is definitely talking about um, standing your ground and knowing your worth. Um, do not fear. Okay, so I'm getting two different messages. For some of you guys, it could be um, that you're not really wanting to walk away out of fear that this person may change their mind and then you missed out on that opportunity. For others of you guys, it could just represent that you fear speaking up or you feel uh, like you have to watch what you say around this person because you don't want them to walk away. So you're being very guarded, but I feel that it's guarded not in the physical, but in the way you communicate or the way you verbalize what it is that you're wanting. Now, your next card here is the sun card. So for some of you guys, it could be that you're dealing with a Leo type of energy. For others of you guys, it could be that you're actually... Um, guarding yourself and keeping yourself, um, very seclusive for some of you. Okay. So for the singles, you're being very seclusive and guarding yourself, perhaps from a past experiences. You're not really like you feel you're not ready to socialize or connect with people on a deeper level. Nonetheless, you're kind of blocking the blessing that's coming your way for others of you guys that are waiting for this Leo type of energy to make up their mind you're kind of blocking the opportunity to connect with other people that may be able to give you the type of commitment or the type of relationship that you've been wanting for quite a while because you're holding on or clinging on for dear life to this relationship. Okay. That's definitely what I'm here. Yeah. See, you guys have here the two of swords. So the two of swords could represent, okay. So Okay, so for some of you guys, in regards to finances, in regards to business, you're going to be having a lot of opportunities, and I feel that you guys are going to be getting anxiety in regards to the opportunities because your fear is kind of holding on to you very strongly, like you fear that you may choose. So an example of you guys are getting more than two opportunities for a job. You fear making the choice or deciding for one or the other because you feel like you may miss out on one or the other. So what Spirit is telling you is that stop being so guarded. Listen to your intuition. Pisces, you are amazing at listening to your intuition. Listen to your intuition and go with that instinct that you're being guided because 
if you continuously keep guarding yourself or keep waiting on for the best opportunity, you're literally going to be left with no opportunity. It's kind of like that saying goes, um, from trying to catch two bunnies, you actually miss out on one or the other or something like that. I don't even know. It just came to my mind. But anyways, um, you know, don't try, don't keep putting yourself in a position where you're constantly thinking, I don't want to make a choice because I might miss out on the one job that's right for me. Or I don't want to make a choice because I might miss out on the right relationship for me. What spirit is telling you is stop blocking that because you're self-sabotaging yourself and you're keeping and blocking that blessing to come your way. There is a need for you guys to take action with the two of swords. So the two of swords is definitely, again, like I said, feeling like you're mentally stuck, not being able to decide or to choose. Now, your next card here is the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so again, like I said, there's definitely an opportunity in regards to finances. Uh, it could be an opportunity in regards to getting a higher ranking position. For others of you guys, is actually getting that job you've been waiting for. Um, but again, if you continuously keep mentally enslaving yourself, you're going to remain blocked. And it's not like the universe is blocking anything towards you. It's kind of like basically what I'm hearing is the universe is serving you those opportunities on a silver platter. Um, but you're just, you're so scared of taking those opportunities or taking that new adventure that it's keeping you from the blessings that are coming your way. So try the best you can for the month of June to make a choice. <laughs> um, and again, um, continuously keep thinking positively. Stop worrying about things that are very insignificant Pisces. It's like you're all in your head and overanalyzing and overthinking. Um, and instead of helping you balance and pretty much align yourself, what you're doing is you're blocking yourself and self-sabotaging yourself. Do not fear to take on new opportunities that are put in your lap or that come your way, because if you actually take those opportunities with enthusiasm, you're going to not just be blessed, but also experience a major transformation in regards to your finances. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment. If you have not subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. And we'll see each other soon, okay? Bye.